This video will be talking about Aenys Targaryen the first, the second Targaryen king of Westeros. Aenys the first was the son of Aegon and his most beloved sister wife Rhaenys. He was the firstborn and had a younger brother named Magar who was the child of Visenya. Like his mother Rhaenys, Aenys was a dreamer. He was also the patron of singers, mimes, and mummers. However, like his aunt Visenya, he liked alchemy. He also hungered for approval and was hesitant to make decisions. This indecision and hunger for approval of his people and the love of his people would mar his reign. When he was a child, he was very sickly, and this caused some rumors that maybe Aenys wasn't the son of Aegon, because Aegon was a powerful warrior to be feared and he was uncontested, save except the Dornish. Rhaenys had a habit of keeping very handsome singers, mummers, and mimes around her at all the time. However, when Aenys got his dragon Quicksilver, as it grew, so did he. And at 30 years old, he came to the throne in 37 AC, when Aegon, at the age of 64, passed away while we're telling tales of his conquests to his grandchildren. However, shortly after his reign began, rebellions started to occur. Many subjects were still upset about Aegon's conquest. They had lost loved ones, and not only that, but the people that used to be kings were now simply wardens of their realms, and even their people craved the day when they had their kings to govern their small areas. Others saw the Targaryens as abominations. The faith of the Seven was very strong in Westeros, and the faith of the Seven saw a wedding between sister and brother, and even marrying multiple wives as an abomination, sinful, and something that you should never do. Nobody really contested Aegon because he was so powerful, he had his dragons, his sister wives, and they kind of just grumbled under their breath and allowed Aegon to rule. When Aegon died and his son took over, that was not the case. The first rebellion to happen was Hair in the Red, who was said to be the grandson of Hair in the Black. And if you saw my video, 10 Facts About Aegon and His Sister Wives, you would know about Heron Hall. Hair in the Black refused to surrender to Aegon and walled himself up in his high tower and in his castle. Aegon came down with his dragon and set fire to it and basically roasted them alive. So Hair in the Red, saying that he's the grandson, stormed into Heron Hall and gilded Lord Gargon, who was called Gorgon the Guest because he had a habit of taking first night right with anyone who got married in his area of control. So basically, if anyone got married around his area, he would end up sleeping with the new bride first and then allowing her groom to be with her. So Heron the Red ended up gilding Lord Gargan in the God's Woods and leaving him to bleed to death. Before Aenys could get over there, he was gone. More rebellions happened in the Vale, Iron Islands, and Dorne. The king was shocked by this. He thought his people loved him, and it racked him with grief that people would hate and dislike him so much that they would rebel against him. He was indecisive on what to do. At first, he commanded a host to sail to the Vale to deal with Jonas Aaron, who was causing the rebellion in the Vale. However, he quickly withdrew that order with fear that if he sent men there, then Heron the Red would come to King's Landing and sack it. After some him hawing around, he then called the Great Council to discuss. Fortunately for him, while he was being indecisive and not knowing what to do, there were other people loyal to him that ended up taking better action. Lord Rice of Ruinstone gathered forces and took care of Jonas Aaron in the Vale. Magar came on Black Dread Dragon and ended up rounding up the rest of the people in the Vale and putting all the rebels to the noose. In the Iron Islands, Lord Lotus, supposedly reborn, started a rebellion. However, Lord Gorin Greyjoy quickly put down that rebellion and he sent his pickled head back to Aenys. Aenys rewarded him with a very large boon, and with this, the Greyjoy ended up ousting the rest of the Seven from the Iron Islands. You know why in the show the Iron Islands don't have the faith of the Seven like the rest of Westeros, they have the Drowned Gods. It's because of the money that Aenys ended up giving to the Greyjoy, he was able to oust the Seven from the Iron Islands. 
In Dorne, a man called the Vulture King was also rebelling, while the Martells claimed innocence and said that they were working very hard to down the rebellion, which most likely was not true. The hand of the, hand of the king under Aegon, Oris Baratheon, took the Marcher Lords and they took care of it swiftly. Meanwhile, Heron the Red was cornered by Aenys Hand, Lord Stokeworth. Heron the Red ended up killing the Hand, however the Hand's squire ended up killing Heron. Aenys rewarded the people that helped put down the rebellions very well. The most of all, he rewarded his brother, Magar. He gave him money, made him the new Hand of the King. Which seemed like a good idea at the time, but unfortunately would add to Aenys' downfall. Aenys was wed in 22 AC to Alyssa Valarion, the daughter of the king's master of ships and Lord Amaral. She was a Targaryen on his mother's side, so only a cousin to Aenys, which was kind of okay with Septon. However, when Visenya proposed that Mager should wed, Aenys' first child, Reyna, the High Septon threw a hissy fit protested and said, no, 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 that is an abomination, you cannot marry uncle to niece. So instead, Magar was married to the High Septon's niece, Lady Circe of House Hightower. This didn't prove to be a happy marriage because his wife turned out to be barren, very hard to swallow, when his brother had many children with his wife. He had his first child, Reyna, followed by his son and heir, Aegon, then Viserys, Jaharis, Alisana. Raella also was born, but she died as an infant. Finally, being sick of his barren wife and watching his brother more fruitful, Magar took a second wife, Elias of House Haraway. Queen Visenya ended up officiating this because no other Septon would officiate it, and they said you could not take a second wife. So basically, Visenya and Magar went behind Aenys back to do something to kind of stain his name and the more cause more tension between the Faith of the Seven and the Targaryens. Aenys had nothing left to do but exile his brother to try to ease some of the tension. He also made his Hand of the King a reputed miracle worker, Septon Mummerson. And it became worse in 41 AC when he wed his eldest daughter, Reyna, to his son and heir, Aegon whom he named the Prince of Dragonstone in Magar's place. This caused an uproar. People were rioting and upset. Lords, small folk turned against him and they called him King Abomination. The Septon, who ended up officiating the wedding, was expelled from the faith and later zealots found him and cut him into pieces and paraded him through the streets. People began to fortify the Hill of Rainies making the Sept of Remembrance into a citadel to stand against the king. At the same time, people tried to assassinate the king's family by scaling up the walls, getting into their bedchambers. However, a knight of the king's guard ended up saving the royal family. In their fear, they ended up fleeing to Dragonstone. Visenya was P.O.'d. She said, take your dragons, go over to the Sept, go over to the Sept of Remembrance, put them down, Show them that we will not celebrate rebellions. Again though, Aenys just kind of was indecisive, he didn't know what to do, and shortly after he ended up getting very sickly with stomach cramps and loose bowels. In 41 AC, most of the realm had turned against him, and people said that even though he was 35, he looked more like he was 60. The Senya ended up taking over for Aenys' care. But when Crackhall, castle containing his son and daughter were besieged, he died three days later. And thus ended Aenys' short five-year rule. There's some rumors that maybe Visenya was the one that ended up poisoning or taking care of Aenys, because, I mean, think about it. Her youngest sibling's child ends up going to the throne, who, you know, she didn't think maybe was the, the strongest of character and strongest warrior. And, you know, of course she wants her son, Magar, to rule, and, you know, she was a warrior, and so was, her, so was her husband. Seeing Aenys' indecisiveness and unable to do what needed to be done probably made her really upset, so she decided to take care of him and have Magar rule. So next week, we'll be talking about Magar I, 
younger brother of Aenys, and the third Targaryen king of Westeros, who was also called Magar the Cruel. If you haven't seen our other Game of Thrones videos, you can click any of the links there. We have 10 awesome facts about the Lannisters that you may or may not know. We have 10 awesome facts about Aegon and his sister wives. And then we have what theories on we have theories on what caused the doom of Valeria. We also do a new Game of Thrones video every week. So make sure you like, subscribe, and come back for more geeky videos every day.